What's going on and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to talk about sensitive data exposure. Sensitive data exposure is considered as OWASP top 10 vulnerability for our applications. And today's demonstration is part of CompTIA Pentest Plus and um, Try Hack Me. So basically, here as you can see, the vulnerability we're going to talk about is sensitive data exposure, which is part of OWASP. Uh, which is also part of CompTIA Pentest Plus. Okay, so what do we do now? We're going to demonstrate what does that mean. So basically, when you browse to, let's browse to the web application. To, to explain what do you mean by sensitive data exposure? We hear it all the time, but what does it mean? How it looks like? So basically, we go to a web page, right? This web page may uh, may have or may have may have been misconfigured in a way that it discloses sensitive information that you may not know about. What do you mean by that? For example, there are some directories in a web page that if you have access to, you're going to find sensitive files like databases uh, that are stored as files. You can find um, uh, files that have plain text passwords. Right. You may find, um, other than databases and uh, files that contain passwords, you may find backup files. These files are considered sensitive for any web page. So if you have access to these files, then it means the website is vulnerable to sensitive data exposure. How do we do? How do we know that? So first, we have access to a web page. How do we do that? With that, we first need to enumerate the directories, right? We enumerate the directories, we expose the directory that has the sensitive files or may have the sensitive files we're looking to expose. So basically we use sudo uh, go buster dir dash, um, let's say wdurl http 10, 10, 15, 17 dash wd wordless. I'm gonna use, um, let's see, the right word is for that. Let's split the terminal. And right here, cd or ls dash la user share dir. Okay. What do we have? Word list. So we have common extensions, others. I'm going to use common for that. So basically, we're going to Navigate to that directory, take this, all of it. Of course, remove this. And here we type um, count.txt. Let's try. Let's see. So everything that will um, appear as 2.0.0 means that the directory has been found. For example, we have favigan file has the status of 200. It means it is actually there. We have index. And we have 301. means it is there, but there is some direction, redirection. Assets, API, council, 403, bad request. Uh, 403. Okay, let's try API. So slash API. Endpoint doesn't exist. Assets. Oh, so we see here a directory listing. CSS, fonts, images. Now, directory browsing or directory listing is not a sensitive data exposure, but could lead to sensitive data exposure. Okay, so we, we find here a database file. Now, this is considered as um, sensitive data exposure. Why? Because we found database file and database files when queried and opened in their respective clients, you're going to be able to find these, the tables and these tables may contain credit cards, usernames, customer names, whatsoever, as we will see. So what's the reason for this? The reason for that is the top developer may have forgotten the file here. This file could be database, it could be backup file, it could be a password file, anything sensitive. 
anything sensitive that is in a public directory called sensitive data exposure. So let's download the database and interact with it. So we have downloaded the database. Okay, now let's go to downloads. Can I click this? CD, CD back, CD downloads. So we have the database file here. So first we need to understand what kind of database does this file run on? So basically we type file web app. So it is SQLite 3x database, which means it is actually a database file that is treated as a file, not as a database server. Which means that we can use SQLite 3 to query the database and find the sensitive files we are looking for or sensitive data. So we're going to sudo SQLite 3, which is which comes pre-installed with Linux or Kali Linux. App. Okay, now we can interact with the database. So what do we want to see first? We want to see the tables. So we have dot tables. We have sessions and we have users. So this is not like MySQL, where you type show database, show tables, select use database or whatever. It's kind of different. So in order to use the users table, okay, we're going to type pragma. Okay, table info and type the database the table name users. Of course, the semicolon. So in the table users, we have user ID, username, password, admin. Okay, so now we know what we need to go after. So basically we type select to display everything, start from um, users. So here, as you can see, we have a username and this one is the hash. And as you can see, we have a number here. So we have user ID, username, which is here, password, and admin. So Admin, admin, and Bob are actually admins because the string is one. Alice is not an admin because the string is zero, according to this. Right, so we have username and the password hash. User ID is right here. So what do we do now? We can crack these hashes, of course, with John Derper and find the answers. Now, in Try Hack Me, uh, the guys has the guys have uh, suggested a name, a tool online to crack these, these hashes. So it is, it is called crack station. So we go here and we take the hash. And it's, of course, you can use John the Ripper, um, but we're going to stick with try hack me agenda here. I'm not a robot. Uh, traffic lights. One, two, three. Yeah, crack hashes. Okay, so as you can see, it is in green, which means that the hash has been cracked. Result, this is the result. We can continue on and crack the rest. Let's go now to try hack me and see the answers or see the answers to the questions, the, to answer the questions. What's the name of the mentioned directory? Okay, so basically if you remember the directory that has the uh, sensitive file was assets. So we go back to here and type assets. All right, no need for the hint. Navigate to the directory you found in question one. What file stands out as being likely to contain sensitive files? So the file name is web app DB. Use the supporting material to access the sensitive data, what's the password hash of the admin user? Well, we have cracked it, which is query UIOP. Oh, that's correct. Oh, wait, what's the password hash? We need to put the hash, not the password. 
what's the admin's plain text password now we get the cracked version which is this one login as the admin what is the flag okay now that we have compromised or we have exploited sensitive exposure vulnerability we can go ahead and log in as an admin go to login type admin get back uh, there well the password was query uiop and this is the admin console so you take the flag All right, done. So this is sensitive data exposure. Um, I could have talked about broken authentication. So for broken authentication, actually, uh, it's very simple and easy. You just have to um, log in, right? And instead of, in order to get access to the admin username, we have to register a new user named as admin, but of course the username will be prefixed the space before the admin. Okay, it's very easy and you're gonna find the answers once you log in. I'm not gonna go over this, it's very simple. So that was for today and see you in the next video.